And once again, the mating ritual begins in Marshmallow Meadows. What is happening right now? Hey Beavats, I'm back and today we're going to be checking out Lolly Pets. I always feel like I have to do some weird spinny stuff to animate my hands because you can't see my face. I did attempt to Google the price for everybody who might be outside of Canada, but I wasn't having very much luck because Google keeps sending me back to the Canadian versions of the website. So if you know how much these cost in your area, please share that info below. Today I've got one pink and one blue box. There were two other options for sure. I think they were purple and green. To be honest, I don't actually think the color of the boxes has anything to do with anything though. It's just a way of making it seem like it's different so that you buy more. They're all gonna have random pets in them regardless, am I right? So let's check out the packages and then open them up. On the front, they actually look like, what were those called? The dogs. Does anybody remember those dogs with the light up animated eyes? And then for a while they were giving them out at McDonald's. It was totally early 2000s for sure. I'm gonna have to find a picture and link it and then edit in my voice saying what the name of the dog was. Do you know what I mean? Maybe, if you're retro. <laughs> or old like me. No, I don't. I don't need to edit in anything. Oh, drop things. Wait, I'm stuck. Don't need to edit in anything. They look like poochies, but less robotic. Does anybody remember poochies? That's what they look like. We're gonna check out the top of the box. It's blue and it's got sprinkles and it says Tiny Sweets Big Adventures. It's like Tiny Tunes. Tiny Tunes Adventures. Okay. Anywho, there are two plastic ears. These ones are blue. If you are a repurposer and crafter like me, you could totally make stained glass windows or little glasses and stuff out of those. That'd be cool. So these are by Spin Master and they're for ages five and up because there is small parts. We're gonna get a pet and a treat and I'm not sure what else. I guess I could read it. A map and a sticker and an instruction booklet. That's about it. I tried to see if I could show you some of the characters and they're a little hard to see because they're so small and it's kind of around a curb so uh did I say curb it's kind of around a curve so instead of struggling to do that we'll just open them one at a time might as well start with blue since we've been doing blue this whole time and see what comes in it so let's do it I'm going to open this very carefully because I kind of am a weirdo that likes this packaging and I think personally if we cut this out this could make a great entrance to like lolly pet land if you ever had that kind of time you guys are gonna start thinking I have way too much time on my hands I actually don't I just uh, collect things for the future, you know, imaginative things that I may or may not ever do. But at least I'm prepared. Ta-da! We got that, that, and that. Woo! Oh, I ripped it! Okay, we've got some instructions, and I'm gonna read them off camera so I don't rip them again and figure out how this works, and I'll be right back. Well, that sounds simple enough. Let's see our checklist. So this is Marshmallow Meadows. Oh, maybe the boxes are different. Okay, no, maybe not. I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna assume that maybe the blue box means Marshmallow Meadows. We'll find out how dumb I am in a second. So Marshmallow Meadows, Cotton Candy Canyon, Lollipop Lake, and Cake Pop Coast are the different types, I guess. There's a cute little mouse here, and it says Marsha. I'm guessing that must be who we have. And it says, last night I was having the best dream. I was having a marshmallow feast, eating marshmallow after marshmallow. Nom, nom, nom. Sounds so cookie monster. Nom, nom, nom. Then when I woke up, all of our pillows were gone. That sounds terrible. And also marshmallows are disgusting, just saying. So I was right, there is purple and green also. So the green one is Cake Pop Coast. Purple is Lollipop Lake. Blue is obviously Marshmallow Meadows. And pink is Cotton Candy Canyon. And apparently that's rare. But that can't be because then everybody would know to just buy a pink box. I'm so confused. And then over here is a little map. It kind of looks like a little board game. It's kind of really cute, to be honest. I don't get it. Let me just put that aside before I get too confused. And I'll just open it. We'll just find out. Okay, so I do have that little mouse. Oh my gosh. <gasps> this is so stinking cute. I also have this super tiny sticker. Oh my gosh. It's so tiny. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with this, but it's adorable. It's hard to focus on. I'm so sorry. Is this not the cutest accidental success ever? <laughs> How is it not a planned, ex I don't even know what I'm trying to say. How is it not a planned sign from the universe that I was meant to pick this box? This is so cute. So one, I love mice, obviously. Um, if you don't know that, go watch my last Smushy Mushy video. Two, when I was a little girl, my nickname was Mouse, because believe it or not, I used to be quiet. <laughs> also, this is my favorite color ever. So anyways, this is super cute. It is teal and pink and purple. The ears and the tail are like rubbery. This is definitely gonna pull off if your child is a puller. And these ears kind of feel like a very thin eraser, but the pink portion is painted on. The eyes are so cute and they're also shiny and teal in there. And look at those little freckles. It's supposed to be like whiskers, but they look like freckles. Nothing else is rubbery. It's all painted on. It's actually painted on pretty nice. No defects, no scratches, nothing. So cute. 
And here is our marshmallow on a stick. And this reminds me very much of the one that came with my, what was that called? That monster that came in a crate that nobody watched the video of because it was so weird. You should, okay? That was a really cool one. You should go back and watch that. Anyways, this marshmallow on a stick looks like that. So it's a teal stick, white marshmallow, purple dripping frosting with a star. And up here there's two holes and I'm assuming that's where like the signal or whatever force of magical technology will drag our mouse with it. So we're supposed to be able to see the mouse. Jen, try that again. Obviously the first thing I need to do is turn on my mouse and make sure it's working. Look at the bottom. I don't know why that's cute, but it's so tiny. <laughs> when I pick it up, it stops. But as soon as I set it down, it's like it knows. Okay, I don't know why my brain is such a lunatic, but when I see this, I just picture an office world, and this is a little mouse that just goes along stapling everything as it goes, putting staples in. Ready? And do your job, mousey. I'm not gonna lie, as cute as that is, it's kind of annoying that no matter what, it's making noise. I would prefer if it was on the table just stationary like this until we put the marshmallow in front of it, because then we know for sure that the treat is what's doing it. We're gonna test that now. When I put this in front, it's supposed to chase after it. If you do it sideways, it just stops. Ow! My elbow! Darn it! What the Looney Tunes? Ugh. Come and get it. It says to put it above its head and it's supposed to hop. You're not hopping. It's doing the same thing it already did. Is that hopping? Slow-mo? Oh, once it gets it, it kind of stops. Maybe he's like, I'm eating it. Let me read the instructions again. Rotating the treat will change my behavior. In front it will follow, above it will hop, behind it will sprint, and dodge is from the side. Let's try turning the treat. Yo, don't seem so eager, little mouse. Oh my gosh. You can slow it down and go really fast. <laughs> okay, so I tried it above its head. It doesn't seem to hop. It pretty much does the exact same thing as that. It just goes slower. Dodge! I guess it's kind of turning out of the way. Fair enough. Now let's see if we can make it afraid of the marshmallow and sprint away from it. Um, no. It's magnetically pulling it by the bum. Go, go, go! <laughs> Next up, number two. Pinky and the brain. That one says Marshmallow Meadows too. Oh, maybe it's from Marshmallow Meadows. Okay, so I guess it doesn't matter what color the box is. Disregard that whole concept. They're still random, guys. This time we've got Pearl right there, right next to Marsha, and it's pink and blue. It says, when I'm not chasing my tail, you can find me taking a dip at the Cake Pop Coast, napping under a cotton candy tree, or I'm pretty much always on the lookout for my next marshmallow at Marshmallow Meadows. Yum. Pearl's tree is also a marshmallow on a stick. It's a very, very light blue. It looks almost gray here with blue frosting and a star and a pink stick. I wonder if they'll be able to control each other. Probably, I don't see why it wouldn't. Pearl's teeny tiny sticker is in there too. There it is. Once again, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it. I kind of just collect all the stickers from all the toys I get and leave them in a container. That way if I ever have to give away stickers, boom, I have some. I know, I'm a genius. Pearl looks like a chubby squashed dog. Her, what is that? Her left ear is a little bit wonky. Can you see that? It might go away in time because it was in a box, so I understand. Pearl has blue floppy ears and tail. Very thin, very rubbery. So once again, they will pull off if you've got a yanker. That's a weird thing to say. If you've got a child that likes to pull at things. She's a bright pink with yellow square spots on her. Her eyes are glittery and green with those little freckles and a little yellow muzzle. We already kind of did the whole look up close thing, so you're just kind of staring at the cuteness. And they both have formed legs. I forgot to show that. They have little formed legs. Oh, and I forgot to mention this one had square lighter teal spots. And let's turn it on. Here we go. Now let's try it out. Get nothing. No! Come here. Get it, get it, get it. So rotating the... It's hard to talk when this is going. So rotating the marshmallow or the treat does actually change the speed of it. Bye. Whoa. 
Pearl is very hungry. Let's try to make her dodge. So by dodge, they mean change direction. Holding it above the head doesn't seem to do much though, because it's already sort of hopping, I think. By hop, instead of going that speed, it's more slower so that it just looks like it's getting higher. See? It's already hopping. I don't feel like that should be considered a feature. But I do like that while it's going, since they have floppy ears and tails and stuff, that as it's going so fast, it looks kind of realistic, if you, you know, had rubber blue tails, that they'd be wagging about. <laughs> Pretty much checked them both out at the moment, but what I would like to do is see if the other marshmallow pop controls Pearl at all. That way you know if you have more than one, if you ever lose your treat, if it will do anything. Oh, the magnet still draws it back. Yep. There's no reason you can't use a different treat. I like that the magnet pulls it back. It's supposed to be trying to escape from it and it just pulls it. Here are our two pets side by side looking mighty cute. And what I'm gonna do now is actually put them on the table in front of each other because the instructions say that if you've got more than one, it's possible that they might attract each other to the face region and give a smooch. So let's see, they do. Well, maybe if I was smart enough to turn it on, that would do something. <laughs> and she kissed his bum. Okay then. And so begins the mating ritual of the animals down on Marshmallow Meadows. Nope. <laughs> and then the wildlife hands of awesomeness had to come in to intervene in the mating rituals of the animals down on Marshmallow Meadows. <laughs> okay, try again. And once again, the mating ritual begins in Marshmallow Meadows. What is happening right now? Once again, once again, the mating ritual commences. Is commence the end? Begins in Marshmallow Meadows. And they have successfully bumped ears. This is the beginnings of a beautiful friendship. Perhaps they need a little nudge. Go again. No! <laughs> How come it's never the mouse? Isn't it dogs that usually sniff bums? <laughs> Don't run away from your friend, let's see. Okay, there we go, at least it's even. <laughs> You're supposed to kiss. No! <laughs> oh my goodness, I give up so much. <laughs> Where are you going? No! <clears throat> These guys are ruining my shot. I'm trying to be creative here. Go! I'm done, I'm done. That's it folks, that is the end of the lolly pets. I actually ended up really liking them for the price. They're actually pretty great and they do exactly what they're intended to do. The paint is good, there's no details that are messed up or anything like that, so that is awesome. The only thing that kind of bothers me is the fact that they're already bouncing and moving as soon as you put them down. So it's not really like you're controlling them, it's more that you're guiding an already in progress movement. So when you do try to use the treats to make them hop, it doesn't really do as much because they're already hopping. And also. So the only warning that I would have is that if you have a child that likes to pull on things, just anticipate that the ears or the tail are most likely going to come off because they are a very thin rubber, and if they do, they will become a choking hazard. So just be mindful of that, and you should have zero problems. So overall, I was pretty happy with these. I might actually go pick up a few more, depends on if you want to see that or not, but I would be interested to find out whether or not the other ones attract to the face region versus the bum region. So yeah, let me know down in the comment section if you want to see more of these, because I'm also excited to see what the other little faces look like. And I really did want that elephant. <laughs> if you know somebody who loves little tiny critters, me, or just unboxings in general, please share this video with them. And if you enjoy this video yourself, please make sure you remember to comment, like, and subscribe. You can let me know, do you have any of these? And if so, what's the name of your pet so I can see how cute it is. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!